Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in this series, we are going to see how we can do API automation using UiPath. But before to that, if you are someone who don't have prior knowledge on API and uh, the terminologies that we use on while doing API automation, so it's very important to go through this video. And uh, especially because uh, we have to understand different things around API, which I will be talking about in this video shortly so don't miss out this video if you are someone new to api and if you don't know the basics of api so in this video i'm going to talk about what is an api how it actually works how we can use an api and what are the different types of api what is the difference between soap and rest api what are the different formats that we have uh, as an output for an apis like json xml and how i will show you the different formats with small examples also in this video and finally we will talk about uh, different http methods so firstly let's understand what's an api and how it actually works so to make you understand this in a very simple terminology let me pick an example okay so you might all be familiar with uh, applications like facebook and instagram right so just assume did you ever realize like how easily whenever you click on any button or any link that would push us or you know shows up a message very quickly right so how this actually works that's because of an api let me show you here so just consider an application that you were using and if you just perform any action on that application okay so api acts as an interface basically the acronym of api is application programming interface so it acts as an interface that would take your request so whatever the action that you're doing that would be taking your request and it would pass to the server okay the api takes the request from application and pass, takes it over to the server and the server would gives back an answer right so that's called as a response so thus that response is again carried by an api back to the application so this is how an api would quickly transfer the information uh, you know the application and the server would interact between each other through an api the request and the response have been carried out by the api which is a medium of communication right so this is how an api actually works so how efficiently it's working so this i cannot answer it like very efficiently it's working or you know it's very efficient or something of that kind if you are performing an action, how quickly you're getting the response that much efficiently an API actually works. So if an if you're, uh, you know, see, we'll see sometimes that it's buffering or something like server is low or something like that, right? That means because an API couldn't fetch a response from the server. If the server is down, then it won't respond for the request that it has taken over to the server. So uh, a API would uh, immediately respond back with the response uh, from the server. So that's how an API actually works. So by this, you, you might have understand how an API works and what are the uses and why we are doing it and how efficiently it is working, right? So now let's look into what are the different types of API. So we have multiple types like database API, operation operating system API, and we have web API. So let's talk about web api because these are the crucial parts which we in interact every day to day activities okay so under web api we have multiple types again we have soap and the rest so i am going to pick these two because we are going forward we will see examples around soap and the rest apis okay so if you just ask me what is a soap api and what is a rest api and why we using uh, different types and when we have to use or when we have to pick a certain api for our necessity okay so firstly soap api is a simple object pro access protocol so this is used uh, this is also an web api this uh, you know works on works over internet but there's some constraints that we have with SOAP API because it gives you output only in the XML format. Whereas if you see the REST API, it gives you the output in multiple formats. It gives you a JSON format, XML format, CSV, HTML. So the output that we are getting from a REST API is very simple. So the request that you are providing, that would be carried 
through a REST API to that particular URL that you're requesting. Okay, so it's very simple. You just have to provide a URL and that would be considered as an endpoint. So request would be carried to that endpoint and response would be given in multiple formats, not just XML. But if you ask me then why we are using SOAP API, there are some factors that are which are limited only to the SOAP API because uh, REST API cannot be, you know, that much secured when compared to SOAP API. So it also has its own benefits. But whereas if you talk about the feasibility with respect to the application or the output types and the usage, REST API is a bit um, feasible and, you know, user friendly when compared to SOAP API. Okay, so based on your requirement, you can use whether you wanted to go for SOAP or REST, but going forward, we will see examples on both of them. So just for your understanding, I'm talking about the formats like JSON, XML, CSV, HTML, and all of these. So let's see a, bit, a few examples, how a JSON format would look like and how a XML format would look like. I have just brought up a few examples uh, to just show you how a XML format would look like. So here is an example. Um, so just say, if you wanted to fetch the first name, last name of a person, uh, you know, uh, it, it's coming as a response. So if it's in XML format, this is how it looks like. So it it uh, just the first name and the last name has to be bit given between these tags and should be surrounded by these tags. So in case of a JSON, you just can see this is of this way. It's an array of information, right? So this uh, supports arrays. This doesn't support array. So uh, there are different uh, differences. Uh, so you have to see which goes with your application, what's your requirement exactly. So based on that, you can use. So, but uh, on a high level, this is how an JSON format would look like. This is how an XML format would look like. Uh, the same information uh, of, uh, you know, four different people, we, we in order to, uh, you know, read that particular response, we have, you're writing these many lines of code, whereas in JSON, it's been done in just four or five lines of code. So on a high level, this is how these two different formats would alter. And let's talk about the different HTTP methods. So as I mentioned to you, the REST APIs would be using uh, endpoint URL and based on the request that you were doing. So we will use different HTTP methods for that request. So it can be a get method or a post method, put method, update, delete, all these different kind of methods. So each method has a particular relevance of usage. Um, we will be seeing how, uh, you know, in the future videos, why we are using certain method. Let's say if you want to fetch the data, we go for the get method. If you want to create the data, we go for post method. So we will see uh, with examples how we can use different types of methods over REST API and how this actually affects or, you know, give the responses and everything about uh, the REST API in the future videos. So I believe this video is useful for you because this is a, something, a basic terminologies that you have to know and how the API works and how you have to, you know, uh, use the output that it actually gives. So this is all about in this video. So in the next video, I'm going to come up with a, uh, something which is very important, the basic, uh, you know, usage, like what are the activities that we have in the UiPath Studio to use and to do API automation and everything. And I will be uh, doing everything in practically in the next video. So not miss any of the videos, do subscribe to my channel. And also, if you found this video useful, do give a thumbs up to the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions on API and specifically, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.